have escaped the island of Lacuna with Hugo, Lucas, Sophia and Arno. Fortunately Beatrice, our mother, was the one left behind, sacrificed by Emily. Uh, the worrying thing here is though that the Count is still alive with a good number of his men. We are on the ocean, on the sea. I'm not sure if we're on a sea or an ocean, whatever. We're on the water, so the rats cannot come to our aid. So if we are pursued here, which I expect we will be, it's going to be... We're going to be heavily outnumbered. So, uh, but that's not happening yet. Let's enjoy a little bit of peace, if possible, with Amicia and her new haircut. It's getting shorter by the day. Let's go talk to Lucas. for weeks. Yeah. I need a bath too. Looking very vikingo, right? <laughs> Looking very viking. Hey. Oh, hey. How do you feel? You first. Just like after a strange dream. Yeah, a terrible one. But I couldn't wake up until I dreamt it. Changed. Reborn. Almost. There's a home ahead now, Lucas. Will you come with us? Well, I think... You and Hugo are my home, so... Yes. We're glad to have you with us. Uh, your family now, Lucas. You can't escape us. The Raskas. You saved our lives. Let's talk to the big fella. Can't go below deck just yet. My guess is the. Hang on, just talk to the others here. Passed out. Stay there. You don't want to wake up after this. Trust me. Any other random objects? We've got a lot of fruit here. Replenish our energy. We man. How's the view? It's nice. What's on your mind? Do you think I'm different? Well, I don't know. Are you hungry? Huh? <laughs> yes. Well, still the same. <laughs> <laughs> I feel different. Things feel different. It's called growing up, Hugo. Some things just make it go faster. Yes. Yes. But we'll slow things down from now on. We'll take all the time we need. I can't wait to be in the mountain. Soon. Very soon. We're going home, Hugo. Our home. Yes. It's always the most painful thing, right, when child loses a loved one it's like they're having like a part of their childhood stolen away in a lot in a lot of ways without without being kind of too dramatic about it right uh, I don't think we've got anything to improve our craft here Chateau d'Ambrage the Basilius's toys Right. Hey man, maybe the count doesn't count catch up to us. Hey. Is that well? I woke up thinking I was dead. I know that one. What will you do now? My mother she had a house. An old house in the mountains. I promised him a chance to be happy. That's where we'll get it. Sounds nice. You'll always be welcome there. I know you don't like heights. Hey, people change. Amicia! 
We have to be careful making plans like this, man. Where did he go? Hey, what's going on? Is he fine? Who knows? How about we ask him directly? <laughs> All right. He's just dog tired. Here you go. Are you alive? What do you think? Dead people don't talk. <laughs> Good catch. Hey, I'm sorry for, well, everything. Thank you for getting your sister to help me. You saved me. Look who finally decided to be nice. Don't make me regret it. <laughs> the war's over, Arno. We've all earned a rest. You should try it too. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it, man. Damn the count! It's coming fast. You see, that's the thing with war. Follows you everywhere. Don't get to decide when it's over. Have we got any sails we can bring down? This can't be happening. If it's gaining on us, we've got we no chance. Hell's happened to Lucas. He's Here comes another volley.
I think it's messed up a little bit. It killed her. Chuko, come with me. Chuko, come here. <laughs> Sorry, child. The rats can't help you here. Just blood and war. But I could throw a blanket over these flames. But the truth is, people like us, we are born to feed that fire. Whatever you're planning with him, it won't work. He will destroy you. He'll destroy what I tell him to. set this world aflame and I'll forge an empire from that fire a more righteous one it's not over you coward you owe me blood I paid that price already now my son needs to rest finish this gonna do now chapter 15 the dying son what about Sophia and Lucas oh, damn you you goddamn pig Shh. stop shouting for the pain we use it on the battlefield. Hugo. I'm, I'm sorry. I was stuck. I had to pull us out or we'd be dead. We need to take him back. The Count knows what Hugo can do. We need to reach them before he... He hurts him even more. Let's go. Sophia and Lucas have gone ahead looking oh, for horses. We'll go for that. Crunch your teeth. It's time yeah. for God war. Damn it. Yeah. It, it looked like it was a glancing blow. The Count. Did he say something? You broke his heart. So now he wants war. He said he'll use your brother to conquer. There'll be nothing left to conquer. I know. Severe and Lucas? Shaken, but fine. The boy, he's the one who cleaned your wound. He's good. He went to the wreck to find supplies. Oh, I'm so glad they're alive. They'll be happy to see you. Through here, come. Take it easy. Don't go reopening that wound. Yes. I think your potion is starting to work. To think I could have killed that bastard count. You couldn't win this one, Arno. What did he give us? Was it just vodka or something? Or was it actually, actually an elixir of some sort? It's ruined. It'll never sail again. Boats come and go. But it's the sea that keeps Sophia going. You know what I mean. Focus on what matters to you. Because when it's gone... 
Thank you. We'll get him back. The words of a true knight, Arno. What? No. Really, I've never seen anything like you. Where's my brother, you bastard? Safely in my possession. Until he's ready to serve. Are we hallucinating? Until he sees your head in a rag. And knows this old world must burn. Faster! I'll handle him. Like hell you will. Listen to me for once, you damn mule. Why? So you can have your revenge? So that you can save your brother. I'll make him tell us where Hugo is. Cover my ass and stay alive. I'll handle this one. Kill the girl! Need some ammo. You abandoned us to the enemy, but you can redeem yourself now. Give a noble command. Stop this madness and let the boy go. Madness makes this world go round, but I will fix it my way. I like so much to kill you. I can't get these shield guys. Take 
It's the right time. And you gave me quite the last run. He's a great boy. And you. I know. You. everywhere the rats will spread unchecked this is his judgment do we still have time does it matter let's just go make room I will take the reins I have to do something Oh my. This is like a flamethrower. Are you alright? No. I could have. You couldn't. I don't even know how you're even standing. You did all you could and he knew it, Amicia. Besides, you gave him what he needed most the Count's death. No. Someone to care for. A real purpose. Yes. Yes. He gave his life for us. I won't let it be for nothing. Now we need to find out where Hugo is. That's the problem. Marseille's a damn big city. The first of the nebula probably left marks. Whatever's happening over there, Hugo must be at the center of it. How can we know? He's still alive. There'll be signs. I hope.
Run, goats, run. That kind of sign? Yes. It's him! But I don't think it's a good sign. What's that noise? Is it coming from the city? It's coming from the ground! Chant of the macula. Need a some sort of medieval megaphone to let Hugo know we're alive. Those tremors are not coming from the ground. No, they're coming from the city wall. It feels like a heartbeat. His heart commanding them. Can you imagine how? So this is how it starts. What? Our punishment. No. Why? Lucas? Who's wounded? Oh. Oh. Who's not? What's the matter? Okay, just bruised. We're here. I've never been to Marseille. Still haven't. Oh. You came in the loveliest season. Let's go find my brother. It was, a weird, it was a bit of a weird way for the Count to die, but yeah, King Hugo, <laughs> chapter 16. Oh. And I thought you were unstoppable. I'm not. I just forget it sometimes. 
Lucas. I must say, it's an honor to have you by my side. You're the most reliable, steady, nice thing in the world. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, you're my family. You're sharing all this because you think you won't make it? You all still have a lot to live, so you'll make it. This is a damn order. He must live. He deserves so much better than this. Now, just watch your step. Hopefully there's no more soldiers or anything like that to deal with, just maybe navigating the rats. What do we have here? I don't think we really need all this. Don't have enough. I, I know I can craft without the bench. I just like using the bench. I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd never picked up that skill. <laughs> It's the first flower Hugo offered me. Just before we met you, Lucas. Oh. It makes me feel old. Makes you feel old, does it, young Lucas? anyway just tell me we can stop this I don't know if we can get to him maybe but it'll be a deep dive listen I'll go and I'm the see, one who we need whatever connects him to this world and we're all tied to him true so so let's dive Go, go. Sophia. Oh, I'm alive. Please. Lucas. You're alive. Enough. 
Lucas and I, we've... been through this before. Sort of. Not all legends need sailors, huh? That's sad. Go. And come back with him. I'll see you under the sun. Keep going. Hugo's close. Need to find Lucas first. Is that really you? Missia, I'm here. Hey! And Sophia? She broke ward! Battle cry! Let's keep running to the starting walls. Hide, wait, and repeat. Yes, lead the way. Not entirely sure where we're going, mate. That one? No, that little one. Maybe. Oh, suck it! Let's go! No, no, I timed it. This is some like Lovecraftian alien type thing here. Man. Go! Okay, so there's a little wall. I went a bit late. How are we going to get over there, man?
he's there, Lucas. Sorry. Look at you, hiding under a blanket, just like when you're sad. The nebula's condensing around him. So much must be going on in there. What should we expect to find? Hard to tell. Think of it as a giant crucible where the, the macula Hugo and the nebula are merging. The visions of a deceived child dissolving into the atmosphere, changing the world. This is the last threshold. All natural laws stop here. Oh my God. So we must cross it too? To reach your brother, yes. Right. Together. Take a deep breath. We get separated from Lucas like every 15 minutes. Lucas! <laughs> Lord. Lucas! Where are you? <laughs> oh, uh, my head. Oh, it's me. Oh. Focus. You go first. I'll find him. physical world anymore. Hugo's mind, perhaps? Or a world that he's created. Mama, what's going on? What's going on? What is this place? The phoenixes, they meant something. Yeah, follow them. They showed the way. They must lead to him. Oh, look at this man. How apocalyptic is this? You go. Are you doing this? I love this color palette though. Yeah. Right. Hang on to that. Did you put them here, Hugo? No. You did. Hugo! Oh, thank the Lord! Where are you? I'm here. I'm close. I can't see you! Because you're still looking back. Those words are the only thing here! They're showing the way, aren't they? We tried that way, Amicia. And it was a lie. Not entirely. There, there was truth in it! It was a lie. And it brought death. People brought death! Hugo! I need a way to get you out of here! You need new ways. Things have changed, but you're still thinking as if they haven't. I'm, I'm trying! Right, if these are going in circles, maybe we need to go the opposite way. He's somewhere around. Yes, 
That's it, I think. I'll keep going. What's happening to me? I feel... I know you're lost and scared, but I'm with you. I'll do whatever it takes. I want to see you. forward when you're scared. I know. It's all right. You will do it. I will. I'll do it again. I'll learn. Okay, so I tried going... I tried following the birds. The I need to go back there. So I'll just go the opposite way again. I'll go behind the bird. I need that way out. Far from those birds. Yes, I'm listening. Keep a straight line. You'll get there. Is it going to keep reappearing though? That's it. Oh, you're doing it. You're learning. Yes, yeah, got a real kind of Death Stranding feel to it. This ending Hang on. section. What do you want me to do? Embrace the fire? I get it! This is pointless! I surrender! I'm tired of all this! Too tired to fight! Please, I need to see you! I'm proud of you. Where... where are you? I'm here. You go... Hello. Can I do something for you? Hello. Pilgrims. We met already. Hey, what's wrong? 
What's going on with you? It's the boy! He killed her! I'm sorry. He killed her? What the hell? She's right. I'm doing this. How? I see no rats. It's the mistake I made. It's what I've become. Let's not stay here. Come! That's how he feels about himself now. Fix this, Amicia. We will find the solution, but first we must get out of here. Yes. He thinks he has to die to end this, I think. Look at them. Stop me from becoming a monster. You're not a monster. I will be. If I kill all I love. All these nice things you showed me. I understand, but... Please, Amicia. I... I'll try. Myself now. Only you can stop me. Hugo! I love you. I've been happy with you. Goodbye, Amicia. I love you. I love you so much. But when you're gone, there'll be nothing else. I'm here. Oh, no. Can you stand up? Yes. Yes. Do you know what you have to do? 
Yes. Goodness me. I mean, we'd had, we'd had hints quite early on from Hugo that this was the only way it could go, right? I didn't have any, like, uh, choice as to where the sling was aimed and everything then. was an, uh, an epilogue in the first game, I'm not sure we'll get one here. Oh? Chapter 17, Legacy of the Darun family. One year later. I got the time jump at some point, right?
Feels higher each time. <laughs> oh, Sophia. You came! Of course. I wouldn't miss this. Careful. I smell like a goat. Well, then welcome to your land, goat. How do you feel? Are you ready? I guess so. No point in wasting time, then. Wait! Well, let's go. As you wish. I left the horses up there. A year later and so, she's wearing the same outfit. What have you been up to these last months? Walking, fixing the house, trying to exhaust myself. Does it work? It's better. Yes. Good. You had me pretty worried, you know. I'm fine, Sophia. It's been a year. Already? And how's the business going? Good. Doing more legal trading these days. Oh, what happened? Well, I just want to live longer. Really? I like a quiet sea better than a storm. Speaking of which, we'll depart tomorrow. Great. Great. Is our alchemist coming? Lucas. Oh, no. He's still on the road. Studying. All by himself. They grew up so fast. He needed this. Oh, we're all alone. Whew. Getting chilly. Let's pick up the pace a bit. Yeah, because you're wearing nothing but that old yellow waistcoat. It looks like it was designed to fit a child. <laughs> Man. Man, look at us. Look at that cape, the lovely, like, blue velvet. Hey. I mean, so you better be careful with this haircut, right? She's slowly turning into an evil bald guy. Man, here you go. The true role of the protector, right? Not to protect Hugo, but to protect the world, I guess. Could have uh, given Sophia a different outfit for hiking through the mountains, right? <laughs> but fair enough. No. That that was the imagery in that final scene was unbelievable. It was like demonic. It was I don't know. It was just it was otherworldly, right? Really apocalyptic. Which obviously is what it was supposed to be, but it just, yeah, it had that had like a, a flight, like it felt a bit Death Stranding like at times with the view of the a bit being like near the coast and stuff and the beach, but yeah, that like cocoon, yeah, astonishing. So, do you know where we can put you ashore? Not yet, but I think I'll know when I come across the signs of the macula. Yes, it leaves marks. On things and people. I think I can find where the next carrion protector will rise. Really? The next plague. I want to set the path for them, like Alia did for us. No use telling you just to rest, then. None. Fine. Ah, oh, it smells so good. And the quiet. Yes. I'll miss it. Yeah. So wait, how, how old will this make Amicia now? Like 15-ish, right? She was like 14 at the start of the first game. Six months from there to the start of this game and another year has passed. Yeah, I think around 15, I think. There. 
Boys, this is Amicia. Be kind to her. It's a special day. Hi. Can you give me some time? I have one last thing to do. Take as much as you want. My back still hurts from the road. No storm coming? You're the only one I see. It won't take too long. It's going to be all right. So flat compared to this. Yeah. What are these birds? It's going to be all right. Is he buried here? The flowers. Sorry. Why is it so hard? We never backed down, right? We held. Made it. 
this earth remember how much you loved it. May it remember all you gave to protect it. Oh my god, and that was the story of Amicia and Hugo de Rune. Couldn't escape their fate, right? Wow, it was a great ending then. Fitting end. Not fitting, but... Yeah. Wow. I just credit to them for like... Just committing to this, the vision for their like how this story was was supposed to end, right, and not tying it up in a particularly neat and neat and happy way, right? But you, you know, Hugo couldn't escape his fate, right? And neither could Amicia. Amicia did what she could, right? Exactly what she was supposed to do, then. <laughs> the music's getting me man. My god man, the music just is just it's just insane. It's just insane how rich it is. Mm. 
Like I can't skip the credits, man, with this music. Crazy. I mean, it's been a great experience, man. I mean, across the two games. I mean, obviously, like this, this is very much like uh, an iterative sequel. Like just continuing and finishing the journey, not sequel baiting. Um, you know, the gameplay is still enjoyable. Um, the light crafting elements, the uh, yeah, the. And uh, just the game was so beautiful, the, the the performances that the actors put on um, was fabulous. The music, the sound design, um, everything was just stellar, right? And uh, maybe the pacing of the story in the middle um, just dipped a little bit after we got to Lacuna and we had that kind of free roaming bit. But my god uh, but oh, but like overall it's just it's yeah i mean I'm, if you if you played the the first game in this game like back to back as like a singular experience i think that would be like amazing to do like uh, you'd get like a really good like 30 to 40 hour experience that was really congruous and feels like you know lines up really well in terms of the way the game feels doesn't feel like drastically different but it just kind of pr moves the story in in like a really like awe-inspiring way like particularly like visually like those ending moments like with the cocoon and and everything like i said that was really but like, out like otherworldly really demonic had a real kind of alien quality to it and it was such a spectacle yeah yeah honestly like i think the whole experience has been has been really really good i think the only thing that that let the game down a little bit was that open worldy ish kind of bit on lacuna where like the traversal and there was i don't know they needed to maybe change the way that they designed things a little bit there because that felt a little bit empty but everything else was just was just was awesome i don't know what i was expecting from the music and everything but um the music definitely felt felt more iterative like the whole game did really rather than it being like a whole new feel they they built on similar like rhythms and sounds like signature sounds from the first game so it felt it it felt like i wasn't discovering as much of the music as the first uh, as i did in the first game where i think that the shock of it really came in here we go we've got an actual epilogue is this the next carrier yeah it looks like a baby's arm Yeah. What kind of time period is this in, though? Oh, we're not done. Here we are. New game plus. Special paint for the crossbow. Yep. Okay. Oh, I never changed this, did I? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I suppose that there's a small, there's a bit of a sequel bait there, but I think that they could potentially just leave it here. But I think that uh, that gives them the opportunity to massively change things in the next game maybe move the game on a few more years if that's the baby if that's just the baby that's being born 
Well, I don't really have much else to say, guys. It's just, uh, it was an awesome ending. So cinematic, so like, visually striking, emotionally impactful, right? And there was no easy way out. They didn't find a way around it. They didn't, you know, it's kind of seen, it was inevitable that Hugo had to, that was going to die, right? It kind of seemed like he'd come to terms with that as well, before, long before Amicia did. Yeah, character-wise, I mean, I guess the big additions to our like, on our side would have would have been Arno and Sophia. Um, Arno was a little weird, uh, but we didn't, we never kind of fully found out what the Count did to him, unless I missed something. Uh, but we know that there was someone he cared for deeply that he lost, so I'm guessing that had something to do with the Count. Um, yeah, um, and Sophia. Sophia was great. Um, she had uh, a real soul to her. Um, she kind of felt the immediate kind of need to look out for Amicia after she saw the scar that Arno had given her. Maybe felt like... She wanted to offer us, offer Amicia, like, some sort of sisterly uh, friendship that maybe she felt she never had growing up herself. Or maybe, I guess, she, she's a pirate. She's probably surrounded by kind of uh, dirt, uh, dirty, grubby men all the time, I suppose. So she was looking out for her. And honestly, I was just kind of waiting for the moment where she was going to run off. Because, like, when things were getting really crazy, I just felt, well, what does she owe us, really, um, at that point? But, you know, um, but she was so insanely calm all the way through, which was, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I think that the problem is that, like, that when, when remembering that, I think that the game didn't have some of the more massive emotional moments mid-game that the first game had because those emotional moments were centered around character deaths so like here i guess you'd had i like, beatrice and arno were very much right at the end whereas in the first game i suppose with you know you, you have the immediate one with amicia and hugo's father at the beginning but then you had arthur and roderick in the middle of the game and those were such like but they were quite near the end as well to be fair but so it's it's tough to say that this game doesn't have as didn't have those emotional moments spread throughout because they were tied around characters dying and um, but it definitely has a different feel right because the first game was so centered around having child companions right or the children or the people orphaned by the the war and uh, whereas this game, it was very much adult, except for Lucas, it was like adult companions like Beatrice, Vaudan, Arno, and Sophia. Um, so I guess maybe that was more symbolic of how Amicia had matured and had to grow up so quickly in those six to seven months after the Daruna state was invaded. Um, but. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, uh, like comparing the characters to the first game, I think that, that like the core, the core characters are still immense. And, uh, and and like looking back, honestly, I don't think that like Arthur and Melly and Roderick, uh, we didn't, we weren't necessarily too deep, like massively deeply involved with them. Similarly to with Arno and Sophia a bit, right? Um, so I don't want to kind of misremember that. Like, their deaths were incredibly, like, emotional moments. But, like, before that, like, you know, the character building was what well, um, wasn't necessarily as fleshed out. So I think it, it matches up nicely. I just think that they maybe didn't need to have that like little openish open bit in the middle because uh, it just the game wasn't it didn't it didn't have enough 
like traversal and it didn't have enough stuff to do to warrant that. I think it should have just kept on a linear path. Like I think that, for example, like I think when you in some other in like if you want to compare this to Uncharted, it's nothing like Uncharted, but in terms of it being like a linear game, like I think in Uncharted 4 and in The Lost Legacy, they had like an open section kind of in the middle of both of those games. And uh, but the difference was that you could you were traversing in a car most of the time, so it added just an element of, of exploration. So I feel like that section in them it just needed a horseback. Uh, you needed just to ride around on horseback or something to speed, just to, you know, allow you to get around and see the sights a bit quicker rather than just sprinting around the fields. But other than that, yeah, amazing game. Um, yeah, really awesome. I don't think it'll quite sink in just how crazy that ending was for a little while longer. Um, yeah, right. It's um, been a great experience, guys. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Um, really emotional ending with Hugo. Um, he couldn't escape his fate, right? Maybe the next carrier of the Macula will be able to live in peace, perhaps, if Amicia can succeed on her journey. But if the, if the next carrier is born into... You know, Hugo was quite lucky in that his mother... into You know, in, in the... His mother knew, kind of, was helping him the whole time. If that baby has just been born into any any random family, then it's trouble, right? So maybe there is more to the journey. Um, everyone seems to have gone their separate ways, right? So, right. We'll leave that there, guys. It's been I love this game. Great characters, great music. Sad story, a sad ending to the story. That's been so much about trauma and loss but ultimately fighting fighting for your fighting for your friends and your loved ones so yep thanks for joining me hope you enjoyed it just remember everyone never trust an on crate i'll see you next time